What's up guys? Graham here. Doing a little more of Reaver gameplay here and uh, yeah, Reaver is really strong right now. The thing is, is that it's not like a real killing machine. Like it's, it's like a really good asset for your team as it debuffs the other team and spreads all the dots and the dots hit really hard and all that good stuff but in all actuality you know it isn't like you're bursting people down dead that often you know it's uh, your viral stream will kill people but ah he's debuffing me all right kind of focusing this guy because he kind of ran out in the middle of our team and also then he ran back in the middle of his team which makes it real good to spread dots to but a little bit of a standstill here but as I was saying Reaver is uh, really good though there's no doubt about it it's it's a valuable valuable class for any warfront right now um, thing is I'm kinda wanting to get away from playing Reaver as much because it, even though it's really strong it I'm wanting to go to something that's gonna burst people down big time and Reaver isn't really doing that uh, you can get good kills for Reaver. I mean, the dots hit pretty good. They uh, also, um, if you have good gear, it hits really good. But also Viral Stream can burst people down. But man, I kind of miss the days of Paragon. You know, whenever you'd run out there and just Paragon, uh, Alacrity, boom, anybody. And that's, that's pretty fun. But the thing is, is Melee is just so underused right now. Like in a warfront like this, I could probably do Paragon because of so much of the uh, grouped up people where melee is possible. Let's get this guy marked as a healer. Alright, uh, but the thing is, is since they're all grouped up, obviously Reaver's a lot better because you can spread the dots. I mean, it's, it's one of those things that really you shouldn't be running anything but Reaver as a warrior because everything else is just far inferior to it. But man, I, I want to burst people down. I, I love the days of me just running up and killing lots of people. And Reaver just isn't doing that. I mean, I can get good kills if my dots hit right and I can debuff the other team and uh, all that good stuff. But yeah, it's... And also, in big healing wars like this, you need a Reaver. You know, Reaver is the one that's going to make the other team not be able to heal as much. But they've got really good healing on their team. Yeah, it seems like most of the healing that uh, is being done to me is being done by me. So, what do we got? Two healers? One of them's dead. One of them's about to be dead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can see how this Warfront is going. Uh, I kind of expect them to pick up the Fang just shortly. Oh no, don't chase me, dude. The thing is, if they chase me, I almost expect my team not to even defend me. Like, you know, usually if somebody overextends into your, uh, your team's side whenever you've got teammates all around you, Usually they're going to be suiciding because your teammates are going to nuke them as soon as they get close. But I'm thinking I'm not on that type of team right now. I'm thinking that guy could have chased me and probably killed me and my team wouldn't have did anything about it. And this is another thing about Reaver. They have a Reaver on their side. So as you can see, the dots lasted forever on me there. and made it to where I couldn't drink up. I mean... Reaver's just such a valuable asset to Warfronts right now. But man, I, I want to go back to the high kills days that I was doing. Killing everybody. And with melee being so nerfed right now, that just isn't going to happen really. Unless I got a pocket healer. And that sucks. I, I don't like playing po with pocket healers that much. I like to go out and try to showcase some skill, as in, you know, know when to get in, know when to get out, that kind of thing. But if you play Paragon right now, all you're going to be doing is running out. Uh, everybody's going to be nuking you as soon as you get close. It's going to be a bad situation. 
And a lot of other classes can switch between uh, what would be best. As in, uh, take for instance, uh, like a rogue. Oh, no. Okay, hold that thought. Hopefully I remember what I was talking about. This guy's going to chase me. Look at him. He's avoiding doing anything for his team just to chase Grim right now. I was at over half health. So he's like trying everything he can to go after me right now. Eh. It's a freaking inquisitor too. Like usual. But the only thing I can do is run out to my team and hope I get heals. And I'm not getting heals. <sighs> yep. But, okay, what was I saying? Oh, other classes can switch between what they need to, uh, for the most part. Like, uh, take for instance for a rogue. Uh, like, if you get to uh, certain war fronts, like the mage, you know, uh, blighted antechamber, you can uh, switch to uh, nightblade or something like that and just decimate everybody there. And, you know, of course, slip away anytime you need, blah, 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 all that stuff if you're playing assassin and all that. But, um... Then they can switch over to Marksman if it's a range battle. Or they can switch over to a really good healer in position in any Warfront. I mean, they have a lot of options. Warrior doesn't really have those options right now. Warrior just needs to play Reaver and that's it. You know, that's pretty much it. Uh, there, you have your people that are firm believers in uh, Warriors playing Liberator. Uh, a lot of people are very big uh, believers in that. Uh, me, I haven't had very much success as a Liberator. I've always felt like it was pretty weak unless you just are really grouped up. So I, I never really give it too much thought. You know, everybody has their opinions though. But I wish Warrior had more options than what it does. But Yeah. Our team is not able to grab the Fang. They're, say, they're basically complaining, saying that the other team is picking up way too fast. Like, you know, he goes down for it and he's up a second later. But, yeah. They're just outplaying us. I mean, uh, we don't have good healing. Our healing is struggling. Uh, our guys aren't doing very good DPS. Like, you know, you, uh, as you've seen that surfer guy, you know, he was chasing me. And this guy's chasing me. And my team is not going to help me at all. So that shows our DPS is terrible too if our team can't even kill somebody that's chasing me around a tree or something, you know? Like, you know, if they're chasing me all the way on our side of the field, then my team should be able to back me up, but they're not. So we're, we're pretty much in a losing war front right now, but that happens. You know, you're just gonna, you're gonna have those situations. The best thing I can do is keep getting these guys debuffed, try to reduce the healing, and try to kill some of them down so our guys can actually get the fangs. Because there's just no way you're going to uh, kill the fang carrier unless he's got the dots hitting really hard. Yep. Alright, we went 11-1. and one. Everybody on our team was dying like crazy. I healed over half of the health that was healed to me. I topped damage by almost twice as much. Yeah, okay. As usual, guys, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.